Hello, welcome. This is John Donovan. I'm here today at the EDA Tech Forum in Santa Clara uh, with Pravin Madani, who is the General Manager of Metrographics Place and Route Division. Pravin, great Good to, to see, see you again. again Good. A, qu a number of questions. How do your Place and Route tools interact with the other design tools in the tool chain? Do they rely on a common database or do they accept design rules from design constraints from other tools farther up the tool chain uh, or do they also accept um, rules from the uh, founder? So one of the major things, you know, EDA industry has done over past few years is standardizing on formats so that different tools can work interoperably. And, you know, Mentor has taken a lead there, you know, for example, in the low power uh, to, you know, help and design the UPF format, which has now become an industry standard to pass the constraints and the design formats for the low power designs between, you know, tool chains. Right. So today all our tools support UPF. And what that does is makes it easier for the customer to now go in and out of the tool, you know, whatever tool they decide to use, as long as it supports all this common format of UPF, makes it easier. On the physical design side, we support all the industry standard formats of, you know, left, left, and constraints. So, uh, you know, we, this, this having this interoperability between tools with industry standards helps customers really, you know, choose the best tool in the tool chain, basically. At 32 nanometers, uh, just a few atoms difference in doping can cause a gate to fail. Um, how can you do reliable physical verification considering the wide variations in manufacturing? So, John, that's a great question. You know, um, you know, if you recall, uh, Mentor PNR came through Sierra Design Automation acquisition, yeah. and Sierra Design Automation early in 2003, you know was ahead of the pack and realized that you're going to have, as you go down to 45, 40, 32, 28, you're going to have a lot of variations. You know, the, the, the lithography, when it prints the, you know, shapes of the transistor, mm -hmm. it's going to have real variations. So now this variation, you know, exhibit itself across the design thing. So when, when the doping variation changes, it affects your timing and then in effect Indeed. changes your design closure. Right. So this problem has to be solved in two directions now. It is no more just physical verification, but also on the design side of it. Mm. And this is where Mentor provides a comprehensive solution. Sierra Design Automation, the Mentor Place and Route, was the leader in you know the whole variation-driven physical design closure. We, we came yeah, up right with the there. first architecture of you know, <laughs> multi-mode, multi-corner process variation to really take into effect during design this doping variation. And on the physical verification side, you know, our caliber group has multiple tools, you know, the LFD, the CAA, which helps you capture the shapes and then takes that into account when you're doing your uh, verification with caliber. So we have given you a comprehensive solution both from the design closure perspective and the verification perspective to take into account this process variation because of, you know, the tool dopings at 32 nanometer and lower. Right. We've come a long way since 2003. Yeah. I remember. How exactly does multi mode, multi corner optimization work? So, uh, you know, if you look at the traditional optimization tools, you know, long back when, you know, if you look at how the synthesis and everything worked, typically they always focused on the architecture was designed to do one mode, one corner, you know, just the setup and hold. Because, you know, if you go back even at 65, people weren't worrying about having various modes because of, you know, right. we didn't have a low power in Vogue in 2003. Mm -hmm. It's in 2009 when, you know, so many handheld devices happening, suddenly there's an explosion of in terms of modes, in terms of, you know, multi-voltage situation. And then on the corner side, you don't have that much issue as you mentioned. As you go to 32, is where your variations in process start showing up, mm -hmm. the temperature variations are showing up. Uh, we have the unique architecture which we build ground up to really take it, you know, into account all different modes and corners simultaneously and optimize the design, not on a single one set of one mode variable, but rather than on a multi-variable, you know, function, almost like a matrix of between modes and corners, and we can do any number of modes and any number of corners simultaneously. And this is what the innovation we brought to the market, which is what changed. You know, we were the first to come up with this whole multi-mode, multi-corner optimization, and today we continue to remain the leader in that area. Okay, so you can decide. You can decide 
in real time the trade-offs that you want to make between power, area, and performance, and optimize for that particular uh, set of trade-offs. Correct. So, for example, you know, as you know, uh, there will be one optimal solution which would help you with all three. Sure. But suppose if you just want to do only power, then obviously right. you'll have to trade off, you know, frequency. Mm -hmm. And so we give you that complete, you know, optimization equation which helps you decide which variable you want to tune the most. We can help you tune all three together, or we can help you tune one of the three together. So, so uh, we are the only solution which actually, you know, takes all that and do it simultaneously. So, look at power, area, and timing simultaneously when you are doing your design portion. Very good. The, ma the uh, major hurdles that physical design and layout software uh, have yet to surmount, and what sort of progress can we hope to see in the next few years? So, you know, what has interestingly <coughs> happened in the last three years is there have been a very quick move towards 32. So, if you recall, we were at 65 in 2006, and we're already at 32. People, you know, we know of groups who are skipping like 40, 45, and right. moving from 65 to 32. But what that does is suddenly there's an explosion in, you know, many different directions. So, first is the size explosion. It's today, you know, just take like the graphics, you know, we work with, you know, all the major graphics providers. A, 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 the flagship graphics product today is close to 500 million gates, which is close to almost a, you know, 1.5, 1.6 billion transistors. Now you need to, you know, optimize, you know, this large size design in a EDA2. There's another aspect, as we just mentioned earlier, on 32 nanometer, which is the entire process variation. Suddenly, the effects which you were not seeing before are showing up. How do you manage? you know, the doping, how do you manage the litho, how do you manage the critical area analysis. And then the third dimension of the power, you know, all these devices are now very power sensitive. They really want to have multi-voltage, they want to have, you know, multi-VT, they have all sorts of tricks to really, you know, reduce the power. <coughs> all three has to be managed. And so clearly, physical design has become extremely interesting in the light of all these new challenges. Interesting, yes. And, you know, <coughs> uh, the industry has taken the challenge and, you know, People are coming up with interesting ideas. Uh, today we see, you know, uh, 8 million, 10 million instances, which is roughly 30, 35 million gates, flat designs, you know, from, you know, regular ASIC vendors, right? And they want to do this flat. And today we have an architecture, we have a solution in mentor place and all, which can handle this flat. So, you know, it is an interesting time for a physical design, and we believe it will continue to become more and more exciting as we go down to 22 nanometers. More and more exciting. It's certainly more and more intelligent. Well, it, at Previn, it's reassuring to know that uh, I've been admiring the problem. It's reassuring to know that you're coming up with some interesting solutions to uh, deal with the interesting problems. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Good much. to see you. Thank you.